My name is Patrick Noon. I'm a Principal Vice President for Bechtel Corporation, Chief Information and Digital Officer. Uh, Bechtel is a premier engineering and construction company. We execute large, complex projects for our customers around the world. There's a lot of hype in uh, most industries today around digital transformation, uh, digital twin, BIM, etc. Uh, what we've done at Bechtel is try to bring this back to the core element of any digital program, and that's data. So when you look at the digital program at Bechtel, it's made up of three pillars, data definition, data exchange, and data handover. When we talk about data definition, it's all about defining the data that we're gathering for our customers. The attributes, how we're gonna represent them, how they're characterized, and the whole concept of class libraries and customizing an enterprise class library for the needs of a project or a customer in an easy, reproducible, and, and, and effective way. When it comes to data exchange, uh, we have a lot of tools that we use typically on, on any given project, and we need data to flow between those tools. We do not want to be entering the same data in different places because that always leads to data quality issues. And when it comes to data handover, this is where the benefit reaches the customer. Of course, EPC lifecycle data is important. That's what we use to, to execute our projects. It's important for our customers because um, that's how they can check on the schedule, cost performance, uh, delivery. But when it comes to data that they need to actually run their facility, it's not just EPC lifecycle data. They need more enriched data that comes from other sources, uh, sensors, uh, equipment data, vendor data, data sheets, uh, GIS data. All that data has to come together to give the customer a meaningful data set that they can run their, their plant with. The reason data is so critical, 70% of digital transformation programs fail. And even those that succeed, many of them rarely yield the ROI that was intended. And that's because it just gets too complex. You've got to have a strategy and a vision of where you, you're trying to get, but you must demonstrate small, incremental, impactful steps along the way that validates the vision. Any program that you embark on, the biggest threat usually is the fear of change. That is always an element that you have to recognize and work to, if not eliminate completely, at least mitigate and manage. Success is when your customer tells you that what you've done has made a difference. So repeat customers coming back to you is a definite measure of success. The feedback that you get, us as an EPC contractor, the feedback that we get from our users on how the tools are working for them, how they are enabled to do their job better, those are all elements of success that validate the path uh, that you're on. Technology vendors have a really large part to play in, in any digital transformation program. One thing I would say that I'd be expecting from technology operators is to branch beyond their own uh, platform. I'll take Hexagon as an example. Hexagon has always done a great job at integrating their own ecosystem. I look at companies like Hexagon to provide the ability to integrate with data that's beyond their ecosystem through the use of APIs and other technology means that they've got so that they facilitate this data handover and data exchange a journey, if you will, all the way from inception to delivery to the customer in one monolithic set. We do not want as an EPC contractor to have a data warehouse, if you will, of hexagon products and then islands of data that sits in other systems. We have to be able to integrate all that in one piece, make it a meaningful digital twin for the customer, and I think companies like Hexagon play a big part in, in realizing that vision.